<coughs> Today I will do a hello um, CDK. So basically I walk through some concepts and then I build and uh, my own construct. I follow the talk of Elan Band Elan Band in 2018 and 2019. Elan Band is a creator of CDK. So I follow his example. The most interesting thing is uh, I'm gonna build my own construct. Uh, first, I build Lambda Dynamo be separately, but if I reuse this component many many times, so I make my own construct. I call it the Q Recorder, and uh, that is an abstract idea and uh, very interesting. So let's jump in the code. Okay, I make a new folder, empty folder. <coughs> Before we can deploy any stack, we need to uh, bootstrap CDK. Let me show you. <coughs> so CDK will provision some resources in this region because I already done it before so it, it just no changes but you need to do it the first time okay now I need a project in TypeScript I think it's gonna finish soon. So we're gonna build uh, some simple component, the Q, Lambda, DynamoDB, and that's it. Well, let's see the uh, project structure. Let me jump in the uh, okay. I jump into Hello CDK folder. Because I'm connect to a remote um, EC2 instance, so sometimes it's the slow. So here is we're gonna write our code. Uh, so first we connect an SQSQ, and then a DynamoDB table, and then a Lambda function. SQS dot Q and we need um scope this ID hill ho Q name and that's it. We need to give the uh, the key, the primary key, uh, the partition key, ID, I think name, and the type of that. String. So that's it. And now we're going to make an uh, letter function. Lambda right to DB um, the code runtime. 
Python. That's fine. Memory. Let's say five or twelve. Timeout. Sorry. Timeout duration dot second. Ten second. Uh, we need to import path. And we uh, specify where is lambda code, the whole folder. And that's it. <coughs> now let me, um, I'm going to update the lambda code later on. Let me add. So I need the table, the rent, right. I think that's it. So I need to create a folder here. New folder lambda. New file. Okay, let me um We need to table dynamo oh, we need about table name I think. Table name I can get it from the environment variable. Okay, and then I'm gonna write item to DynamoDB. Let me check. So we for the record in event dot record. And then we try to pass the body. ID and that's it. Let me let me check. So we create uh, we get the client. We um, table connect and then we get a table name from the environment variable of lambda and we loop all over all the record from event <coughs> and then we get the body and then we try to put the item okay so in here we need to push the uh, environment variable this one okay and uh, and that's it let's synthesize this
okay it worked but um, we not finished yet because I want to I want to refactor the code a bit it means I want to make uh, my own construct and then I call it the the Q recorder constructor uh, sorry I need a special class scope ID strings I don't have any prop so okay now we're gonna copy the table and the lambda function here okay and that's it but we need an um, so we're gonna use the Q recorder right <coughs> but we need to expose the lambda function so function okay and this one this dot fun okay and then from here we can constant recorder news Q recorder the scope this Q recorder and then we can we can uh, trigger the Q gonna trigger the lambda right Q trigger lambda so we know recorder dot function at event sort I think lambda event sort dot uh, the Q event in here SQ event and that's it I think that's enough uh, okay Okay, let's deploy it. So basically, we put the lambda and DynamoDB table into a construct, and later on we can reuse this construct in different stacks. That is the idea. We don't have to re repeat um, lambda DynamoDB lambda DynamoDB. D because we have our own construct hopefully no errors and we can uh, we can put some message to the queue and see the item in DynamoDB check the and a function here so it puts item I'm a bit worried about this <coughs> the record message ID because maybe in the message um, I don't have this field okay to see the let me check uh, cloud cloud formation So now it's the deploy. Let's see. So 
So the skill has uh, come up. Let me close this and the uh, table. So it's yeah. So this is a messy table. Okay. I think it almost almost near. Sorry, we have to. Okay, now is it done? So let let me check. Let me uh, send some Q message. Send a message. Okay, so we got one item here. Let me send more. One, two, three, four. And let's check here. Okay, so that's it. So that's it. And uh, let's check the code again a bit. So I mean the, the key here is the our own construct. Right, our own construct. This one. And inside <coughs> it, there is a Lambda and DynamoDB. I haven't uh, show you how to use the, uh, how to use some environment variable here. So let me show. So you can do uh, message table and then this dot uh, region sorry uh, in the contract we're not able to access it Sorry, in the <coughs> we're gonna access it in here. For example, I change the name of the queue uh, in here. For example, yeah, and then uh, we add hello queue. For example, yeah, that's it. So you can access environment um, environment variable here. This is. And then you've seen and you, uh, you're going to deploy again. So that's it. Okay, thank you.